from a animation visual standpoint, this thing is off the shallots. <laughs> Not off the chain, it's off the freaking shallots, man. I'm like, bro, it is, this was made solely for animation. But I'm sure there's going to be some dumb numbskull who's going to look at this, look at the amazing success it has, and be like, hmm, you know what we need? We need to get Jennifer Lawrence, Leo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, these big time stars, and make a live action of this. I hate Pixar. I hate Pixar. Bro, people have been talking about this whole damn thing. They say, yo, arcane, 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 cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. Um, and I was like, bro, what's this whole thing? What's this whole thing? Because let me just, let's be real with this. I hate Pixar. I hate Pixar. I have, there's only one Pixar film that I like, which is Toy Story 1. Most Pixar films I just don't like because, let me just talk about, because this connects with arcane. My issue with Pixar is how the Western world views animation. So the Western world is live action is proper. Animation, oh no, this is just childish. So a Western's point of view is anything done live action, that somehow validates this sort of cartoony, kiddie source material that is the animation. Which is why when you look at Pixar, it's, 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 it's the same effing crap. Well, we're trying to make you cry. We're trying to be so emotional. Same damn jokes, same damn characters, same damn crap. Because they view animation as, what well, this is for kids. And it's also to make adults laugh, to cry, and very emotional with extremely contrived um, emotional stories and so forth. Which is why I, I hate Pixar. I hate, like, there's not a single Pixar film that I say I love. Not a single one I love. So, really, I tried to, I've, I've only watched... So I watched Toy, Toy Story 1, which was decent. Haven't seen the other Toy Stories. I didn't like Wally. -E. I didn't like um, Up. So yeah, so basically this is what I gave up because literally every Pixar film after Toy Story, I just didn't like, like no, like this, this isn't my thing. So I was like, okay, let's just look at, look, let's look at this because you know, like in the East, they take animation much more seriously. And for, if you're in Japan, bro, if you do a quality anime, that's it. We don't <laughs> a live action is needed because they take animation and anime as seriously as live action. So with this whole Akin thing, I was like, I don't know, man, because I was coming off watching the live action cowboy bebop, and that's was it was a little bit weird. I was like, okay, what the what is this? So I watch it, and from the very first episode, it is like, what the heck is this? I want to get the name of the animation house. Because obviously this is made by Riot Games and it's based off of the League of Legends, but the real stars of this whole thing, I think it's Fortiche. Yes. So Fortiche, they're an animation house based in on Paris, France. Based, based in Paris, France, man. Um, I have... Because again, which is why I put Akira in such high regard is because of just how unique and groundbreaking that animation was in the 80s. I don't like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but that animation style was so amazing and so forth. This, for me, if, if, if I just think about just the distinct animation styles, this has to rank as one of the most distinct, unique animation styles I've, I've ever seen, ever. It is, from the very first episode, when you just see them have the chase, I'm like, wait, like, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what the hell am I looking at? Because this is like, is it, it's like a painting, it's like cell shading, it's like a comic book kind of look. Is the way the guys are moving, but then it looks comic booky. But when you look at them, there's a realism to how their eyes move, how their body moves, just the kind of the way that they just move within a scene, how they emote. And my thing about it is that because I have to echo what because I was watching the double toasted review, man, and I think it was Martin who made the point, and I was like, exactly the same. You know, almost not all, but in almost every episode, there's always a moment that I was like, whoa, wow. Damn! Oh, snap! God! Wow! So, at almost every given turn, I was pretty much, um, um, I was pretty much impressed by what these dudes were freaking doing, man. So, from a animation visual standpoint, this thing is off the shallots. <laughs> Not off the chain, it's off the freaking shallots, man. I'm like, bro, but I've got to shout out to my guy, man. Look, 
because I want to do a spoiler review after, afterwards. So this is just a general thoughts review, but I've got to give a shout out to, to my guy. Because I want to, I want to, I think, I think his name is Heimerdinger. Wait, 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 what's my thing? I think his name is Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger. Bro, Heimer flicking Dinger, man. That guy is, bro. That's my guy. <laughs> Short little guy, just his voice. Like his, his voice is so, no, that guy is hilarious. Just a quality character, but bro, I mean, the characters that I'm a Dinga, Mel, v Vi, all these kind of guys, you know, they're, they're all quality. Man. So look, style-wise, visual-wise, you've never seen anything like, 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 like this. From a visual point of view, you have to watch this. You have to watch this because from a visual point, it's amazing. Now, people say, oh, but Pixels has quality visuals, which they do an amazing animation, but Pixel doesn't have anything as stylistically unique as this with this much character. But it's not going into the story. Now, story isn't perfect. There are few issues I have with the story. There's few issues I have with characters. But whereas with Pixar, it's like, oh, let's go into our, 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 our emotional bag. Let's go into our, our joke bag. So another Pixar thing is, oh, these are, these are the same bits of comedy, the same bits of joke, the same cutesy characters. Like, oh, I'm so sweet and lovely. What I just love about this, which is why I've always wanted to see, I don't know whether you guys played Warhammer 40K or you know about Warhammer 40K. I've always wanted an amazing Warhammer 40K animation um, and film. The beauty about this is um, the story is a really cool story. It's a very adult story. There's violence, there's intrigue, there's politics. It's a bit complex. It doesn't go the va it doesn't it does not go the normal story route, you know. Like again, I don't want to do it. I want to do a spoiler in my next video, but it's you think that the story is gonna go one one way, and then it's like oh no 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 no. We know that this is how this is this is supposed to go, and this character is supposed to do thingy. And if this was speaks to the character would do that, but no, let's shift it like this. I'm like wow. And once it has that shift, it just opens up the whole thing. I was like oh, I generally don't know what's gonna happen. So with each new episode, I'm like oh, what's with every new episode, you didn't know where this was gonna go, and there was just a feeling that no, this what what telling a unique story rather than telling an archetypal story, because an archetypal story has particular story beats, and sometimes if you're telling a story that isn't archetypal, it can just go off of the rails. But the way that every episode progressed and the story was told in every episode and so forth, I was like, no man, this like. Even for me, I was like, my magician was just going crazy, even creating like another world similar to this world, you know. Now look, as I said again, my only beef with this is I despise the character of Powder. Now people say you're supposed to despise her. No, I just hate, the character's just annoying. I, I, for me, if I was to pick one thing that annoys me about, two things. I'd say it's Powder and sometimes, okay, three, three, three things. Powder the some of the action scenes can be a bit ott they're very good the camera work is very good but sometimes they go a bit ott maybe in trying to um, appeal to fans of the league of legends game and the third thing as well is um what was, what was, what was about to say um sometimes the music in some places are like but the music is cool but i just felt that i can understand why they're using music because it is part of the style but you're telling such a good story and it's sitting on such a cool world, take that music out. Even if you think it works, and, and for me, it's not okay, it drills it, but for me, I'm like, you, you, you're going so well, don't, for me, I say don't use that contemporary music. You can have it at the beginning and at the very end, but within the whole concept of the whole thing, tell a good, hardcore, genuine story. And just add some orchestral music that is unique to the world. Don't bring in contemporary music, you don't have to. Um, so, you see, look, I'll, I'll keep it real with you. Obviously, the main characters are Vi, and powder and so forth. But for me, I was more interested in the other storyline, which is of um, Jace, Victor, Mel, Ozzy, my guy, Hammer the Girl, that, that's my guy, the short guy, and the whole council thing. I thought that was a, for me, that is what's really opened up. I mean, the Vice storyline is, is still pretty good, but that council storyline is just tier one. I'm just like, yeah, 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 that's all right. So look, man, I mean, this is very much, like, look, bro, I mean, even if, there are bits of the story that I just feel like, oh, what's this character doing? The world is so crazy. The, the world is so good. The animation is so freaking good. Because see, and here's what I wanted to say. 
This doesn't need a live action. This is, this is almost the same as Akira. Akira was built mainly for 2D animation. The world and everything is for 2D animation. It doesn't need a live action thing from Hollywood to sort of validate it. No, that 2D thing exists and anybody go watch Akira because that was a landmark in 2D animation. For this thing now with Arkane, I don't need a live action or a live action of this would be horrible. It would be horrendous because everything about this is what they can do with the camera work, what can they do with the animation and the style, which is very, very unique and can only be done using this animation technique. It is impossible, impossible to recreate these characters and this world in live action. So even if they say, oh, we're going to cast them, it doesn't matter because the way you feel about these characters, the way you feel about this world is particular to the way that this world has been depicted. Particular. So, um, like, for me, like, even if they were to announce a live action thing, I would just scare it. I, I wouldn't watch it. Like, okay, cool, do it. But I don't, I don't give a damn. <laughs> like, I generally don't, don't give a damn about, about your crap, man. But yeah, man, I mean, all in all, man, I mean, I'll do a spoiler review just to get into it a little bit more detail into it. But if you've not, this is for guys who've not watched it. And so now Netflix, you, ha you will have never seen anything like this. Because I'm about to say like, which is, it goes back to this whole crap about some nostalgia, you know, with guys just giving you this, the same crap again and again. What I love about this is um, it, it's new, it's fresh. So even if it's based off of a video game and, and so forth, you can just tell that they've now taken things to the whole next degree and created something that just feels really, really fresh and really unique. And look, man, Netflix, you've, you see, Netflix, you've got something truly amazing on your hands. Like, for me, I said, and I've been, ever since Pixar has been ruling, I've just been saying, that, man, can, can there be an adult animation alternative to this piece of crap that Pixar keeps feeding me? Because I told you, I don't watch Pixar. And I love cartoons. I love animation. I love that kind of animation world because... For me, I'm a guy that likes to sketch in my free time and so forth, and I just like being transported to a whole different world that can't be depicted in live action. Like, we have to understand is that there are things that live action can do that animation can't do. And things that animation can do that live action can't do. Like, the way that the camera moves, the way that people fight, the way that the madness of scenes are depicted, like, that scene... Um, um, with um, the kids on the skateboard and, and, and so forth, flying through and everything. Bro, that can't, that can't be done in live action. Even if you have the best super effects and so forth, the way that they zoom in around and it looks like a moving painting can't be done in live action. It is, this was made solely for animation. But I'm sure there's going to be some dumb numbskull who's going to look at this, look at the amazing success it has and be like, hmm, you know what we need? We need to get Jennifer Lawrence, Leo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, these big time stars, and make a live action of this. Good luck on that. I won't be watching it, man. But yeah, um, just a, um, bro, man, man. I don't care whether she's an animation man. Mel, man. she hot. Mel, she hot. She hot. Um, we don't know, no, no, equality. No, like it's a. I told you, like again. Some bits of the story a bit rough around the edges, some 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 stuff. Sometimes it gets a little bit too video gamey and so forth. But the good far outweighs the bad. You know, the positive far outweighs the, the negative. And it's like, yeah, man, I like I can't wait for season two. And it, again, in the way, the way that season one ends, if that little blue head prick has done what I think she has, if that little blue head prick has done what I think she is, man, bro, I'll be pissed off. <laughs> I'll be pissed off with that blue head weirdo prick as has done what I, what, I, what I think she's done, man. And also, bro, my guy Hammerdinger, the that's my small shots council dude, man. Bro, justice for that dude. The way, because I don't want to spoil it, the way that they, they did, man, my guy, but because really, that's, that's my guy. That's my guy. Obviously, Mel as well, as well. But that's my guy. That's my guy. So please, 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 season two, I want him to come back and say what's up and everything, man. But yeah, um, Check out my spoiler review of this, which will be happening very soon. But yeah, Arcane Man. If I was to rank this, put it this way. If I was to rank this, this is tricky. Overall, I'll give this an upper tier too. But if it's solely on the animation, 
only on just animation and just for and, and, and for the style for the visuals tier one. Because for me, I can think with regards to the to the story, story I'd say is like upper tier three and so, I mean, story is like tier two. So tier two, tier one, come into the middle and, and give it some and, 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 like this is like a high, it's like a upper tier two level three. So an upper tier two level three, like the high end of an upper tier two, upper tier two le 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 level three. Um, but yeah, super, super, super quality thing, man. All right, bet.